Everything coming up culturally was about a hustle, right? So it was, it was about, you know, how do we make a dollar? And, and it wasn't necessarily to make a dollar to quote unquote better yourself. It was more or less, how do I survive? Where I lived at, like, in, um, there wasn't a lot of stores, a lot of retail, anything like that. So all you had was your neighborhood, right? And, and the people in your neighborhood and everyone knew each other, right? So um, everybody was close knit and, you know, really around each other. Brett was my best, best friend. We hung out, you know, spent the night at each other's house. I can just remember him being very, very smart because we used to compete with each other. Like, all right, you got a, a B in math, I got an A. But he dropped out of school because he had an older brother who was in the streets selling drugs and, and just kind of living a certain life, making money. And, you know, Brett kind of graduated to that. It was his mother who called me. Cause she, say, she called Brett my brother. She's like, hey, Keelan, um, your brother was shot. He, he's dead. It made me kind of question a lot, a whole lot. It made me think to myself, wow, this can be me. You were a coin flip away from your life being different. I, I made a decision to say, okay, you know what? I need to really rethink and think about priorities. I just knew like, I didn't want that pain anymore. It was at that time that I realized my noble purpose and at Kelly, what that meant for me to say, hey, you know what? I can really, really, really help my community out and use it as a platform and, and leverage and, and make a difference. I was trying to get any and everybody a job. There were a lot of barriers I didn't understand to help them get jobs, right? Like um, mostly everybody I know coming up has some type of arrest record and, and, and criminal background. So once we did background checks, et cetera, it, they were disqualified. I did not understand my voice. I didn't think I deserved to have a voice. And so I accepted things the way they were, right? And, and, and you know, kind of I was taught like, you know, you, you somewhat keep quiet, right? And, 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 and don't buck the system unless you're ready to pay the consequence of bucking the system. And at the time I wasn't ready to pay that consequence. Brandon and I were close because we grew up playing football together and sports together. And I remember getting a call and Tim telling me, hey, um, Brandon's dead. I remember saying, what? What, 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 like, and, and I don't know why, but the very first thing that came to my head is, wow, what would have happened if you would have got Brandon a job when he was in Columbus? What would his life be now? It really taught me, okay, can be quiet no more. We need to focus on opportunity and really allow second chances. Kelly 33 is a program that connects our job seekers that have a criminal background with our customers out there and giving them an equal opportunity for employment. So if they have a criminal background, we're going to assess what that um, charge was for. If it's not related to the job, we're going to allow them to work. We have proof of concept with Toyota. Toyota is a customer of Kelly and we initiated what we called at the time a pilot to say, okay, hey, let's for six months to a year allow this. In this territory that we focused on, a lot of that population was African-American um, and, and, and more of a minority population. And so because of that, our diversity numbers start going up. And so then we started to get a, a different group of talent in the building. Our numbers started to trend ev up everywhere. So like we've seen our um, pipeline go up 20%, our turnover went down 70%, and our average monthly turnover ranges around 3%, which is unheard of in our industry for manufacturing and production associates. When people who are given a second chance, most of them make the most out of that. They come to work on time, they appreciate their wage, they're very loyal. We have zero incidents where we can relate that back to a criminal background charge of any sort. Even at this day, as many years of experience I have now and in my time at Kelly and in this industry, et cetera, um, there's still a lot of family and friends I have that are having the same struggles they were having when, before I got in this business. Kelly 33 is an avenue to help us fight some of those barriers. For me, 
I feel like I have an opportunity to be more vocal, right? And use the opportunities I'm given and the platform that I have to actually have even more of an impact. And so that's what I'm gonna try to do.